To the vlog and happy Tuesday for me and I think Wednesday for you I think <laughs> today's Tuesday is a very big Monday vibe though because yesterday we had off for the 4th of July so feeling pretty tired also sorry if it's pretty echoey in this room like we don't have a ton of furniture in here now we don't have a rug yet so there's not a lot of stuff like absorbing uh, the noise so I feel like it's a little echoey we definitely have to get a rug in here I have to figure out what size fit the whole room maybe i just don't know I'm, I'm really not sure but if you guys missed when we like cleaned out the whole office and got a little bit more set up uh that was in my most recent vlog so you can go and check that out on my channel but i'm here at my desk this is like i've been working at the desk all week this is my first day with like my desk all set up that i can like sit down and work here i have my keyboard my mouse I like feel like a real professional here, you guys. I got the keyboard hooked up to my phone too, so I can switch really easily back and forth between typing on my computer and typing on my phone, which is a huge advantage for what I do on the daily because I'm constantly having to send DMs, but I'm also on here and it's super annoying having to go back and forth. So the fact that I can do it all from here and it's all sort of in front of me, 10 out of 10 amazing. I'm a big fan. We also have my Ember mug all set up, which is just so much fun. I love it. Keeps my coffee warm, which is a lifesaver for me because I usually drink like one cup of coffee over like three hours. So very nice. <laughs> So since it was a long weekend, a day off, I have a lot of emails to go through. So I'm just gonna sit down, buckle up, playing so loud, and focus on getting this done. Also, I have to show you guys Molly Cat right now. She looks so cute. She's just like straight up chilling. Molly Cat. Molly. Hello, tiny cat. <laughs> looks like a pretty nice day out too. Loving it. Okay, been in a deep work hole, just trying to push through, get as much done as I can because it has been a bit of a struggle. But I just got a very exciting delivery that I forgot was coming today. So love that for me. Um, basically, Daring, who is this vegan chicken company, um, I have a ton of their stuff in our freezer here. They make like a ton of different kinds of vegan chicken asked if they could send us lunch today because it is a national fried chicken day i believe national international let's find out national fried chicken day and so yeah they sent us some um po boys using their chicken i think it's from a restaurant called sweet chick and uh i guess they're doing like a little collab with daring so let's see what we have in here i'm very pumped to take a look at this look at that got a little sandwich here tomato, lettuce, some of their chicken. Ooh, another kind of sandwich. This looks like a sort of like more traditional fried chicken sandwich. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm excited. Yeah, have a look at this, babe. Should we oh, try yeah. like a piece of this chicken though? Oh yeah. Yeah, like just snack on that. Mmm. Try a bite yeah. of this. Mm -hmm. mm. Yummy? Pretty good. Pretty good. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. Very tasty. Mmm. Yum. <laughs> Look at this little spot I set up for Molly. She's so cute. <laughs> oh. She has been sleeping here all day, nonstop. That lunch was so delicious, you guys. Oh my gosh. It was so good. I'm a huge fan. Another big thank you to Daring for sending me that. I really, really appreciate it. Now I'm just working on editing. It's actually almost 3 p.m. already. This day's going by really fast. But yeah, it was funny earlier in the day, Molly Cat was sort of like sitting there. I think I showed you guys by the window. And every time I would get up from my chair, she would try to like jump up on it and like get comfy. So I could tell that she was bummed that there's no like comfy spot for her to relax in here. And so I went and got this blanket and she has just been on it literally all day, nonstop, since I put it there. She's gonna be very excited when the sun comes through that window. It's gonna be all nice and warm. I'm sorry, am I bothering you? <laughs> She's looking at me like, can you stop talking? I'm trying to nap. This is your 
6 p.m. check-in and I just wrapped up work. So I am getting ready now. Whoa, excuse me the hiccups <laughs> getting ready now because um actually tonight connor and i are going out to dinner with some friends um my friend sarah is in town sarah bell if you follow her on instagram or twitter or anything and or twitter did i say her twitter <laughs> and instagram or youtube or i guess i don't even know if she has a twitter <laughs> just going to throw some makeup on i'm gonna do like that really sort of lazy makeup look that i did the other day because I just don't care that much and uh i'm really tired honestly if it wasn't like for a friend being in town where it's a limited amount of time where i get to see her i definitely would not be going out to dinner tonight but of course i have to see my pals and i'm actually very excited because we're going to margot one of my favorite restaurants in la but i don't go there very often I need to go more often so yummy i don't even know like what to say for the type of food. I feel like they have a sort of variety on their menu, but it's very good and I am very excited. Today was a good day though. Other than just being really tired, it wasn't it wasn't so bad. I felt pretty productive, got a lot done. Feeling a little overwhelmed in the morning, but by the time I made it into the afternoon, I was feeling a lot better. I feel like it was more like anxiety of like getting back to work after a long weekend than like anything else but while i have you here i wanted to talk to you guys about something that i was really really excited to talk to you guys about for months like seriously this has been in the works for months and now i am way less excited because i don't know what the heck is gonna happen i'm really annoyed actually hoping i have to pee so and we're back <laughs> oh, oh my god back to my sort of sad news so i was so excited to be like guys guess what I am moving to Toronto for a whole month, not permanently. <laughs> Jury's still out about whether that could happen. So this has literally been in the works for months and months and months. Um, and there was a lot of reasons why I wanted to be able to go for a full month. One, haven't been in Toronto for a really long time. Two, needed to spend a shit ton of quality time with Tara. <laughs> and three, uh, I just have so many friends there, Connor's family is there, and I just wanted enough time to see everyone, get to experience the city for a little bit of a longer period of time than I ever have before. Usually I'm there for like a week, two weeks, um, and I just wanted like a solid amount of time there because like Toronto is a potential for my future, nowhere in the near future, and just I'm not interested in doing that right now. But you know, a couple years from now, potentially down the line, I could see, you know, if Connor and I move somewhere cold, it would be Toronto, but just really don't want to move anywhere cold. But, <laughs> uh, you know, part of that is making sure that like I'm comfortable there and I, I'm, you know, get to know the city and get to experience it a little bit. Anyway, here's the deal is that Toronto will not let Americans in. Um, I believe right now, this is month 17 of their border being closed. They're now letting vaccinated Canadians in and out of the country without a quarantine, which was not happening before. Um, but honestly, that somehow just adds insult to injury to me <laughs> because I just don't understand the um, logistical differences of a vaccinated Canadian or a vaccinated American because a vaccinated person should just be a vaccinated person. And obviously I'm so happy that Canadians can go back and forth now. I'm not saying, I'm, I, I hope that does not come off the wrong way, but I'm just saying like, it just is annoying to me because Connor and I literally live together, do almost everything together, got the same vac exact vaccines, same exact times, and yet somehow it's safe for him to enter Canada, but it would not be safe for me to enter. That's frustrating to me. On top of the fact that like, I wanna go, I wanna like visit Tara, I wanna visit all of my friends there, I wanna see Connor's family. I haven't seen Connor's family in almost two years now, which just is, it sucks, cause I love his family. <laughs> And uh, I, I wanna, you know, go and get to experience this city a little bit more because I haven't spent a ton of time there. I'm dying to go to Connor's Cottage because it's like one of my favorite places in the whole world. You know, it's like really the place where I feel like I fell really deeply in love with Connor. And so it's really special to us for that reason, you know? So I was very excited to be able to tell you guys that I was moving to Toronto. But here's the thing. I do technically have a ticket into Toronto. I do. For the dates that Connor and I wanna go, I have a ticket there. But I also have a backup ticket to come back to LA. Um, both of them have like the, I bought like protection for them. So I'll be able to cancel whichever one I can't use. I'm really depressed about this. I just really wanted it to work out. I really for a long time was pretty convinced that it would because I surely thought by the time 
we were going there at the end of the summer that they would let vaccinated people in because why wouldn't you? But they're just, it's not something that Canada wants to do right now. I don't know. I just don't know. <laughs> that is the news. I just was so looking forward to even a week ago. I still like thought maybe, but just something over the past week, I just have gotten such a bad feeling that's just not gonna happen. I mean, who knows? Maybe it still will. Maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe they'll open the border. I just also like don't wanna get my hopes up because literally this time last year, I thought 100% for sure it would open up and obviously that was dumb because we were in a totally different place this time last year than um we are now but i am really happy for connor he hasn't gone to see his family in almost a year it'll be a year in like september and so i'm so happy for him that he gets to go back he's gonna go back regardless obviously and spend some time with his family he'll probably spend a little less time there if i don't come but um you know he'll get to go back see his friends see his family and i am you know very happy for him for that but fuck i'm really fucking jealous. Sorry that I'm cursing a lot in this clip. I'm just feeling a type of way about this. But on a lighter note, we actually do have a lot of fun plans coming up. I will be flying to New Jersey with Connor and we are going to spend a couple days in New York City, which is gonna be so fun. Connor's not been to New York ever as an adult. And I've never gone to New York like for an extended amount of time without my parents. I've never like really even gone out in New York or anything like that. Um, so I'm so excited to get to spend some time there. I feel like whenever I go into New York, it's obviously to see a show and that would 100% be happening if Broadway was open, but it won't be open when we're there. Very sad about that. But, you know, it'll it's a good opportunity to do, you know, something else other than just go see shows. But that's gonna be awesome. And then after we leave New York, we are heading to Ocean City, New Jersey for a family vacation with my parents and a bunch of the family from my mom's side. This is like a tradition that we've had since I was a little kid and I'm super excited for it. And then Connor and I are actually going to a wedding right after that in New Jersey for someone who I've known since I was like, again, just a kid. Uh, so that's gonna be awesome. And then the next day, he'll either fly out to Toronto by himself or we'll get to go together. And then um, just thought I would fill you guys in on that. Okay, here is the fit for tonight. This is from Super Down. I absolutely love this little dress. Haven't put on shoes yet, but I think I'll probably just throw on sneakers or something easy. So that is that. And um, we are gonna head out in just about five minutes. Guys, I cannot with Molly Cat in this new spot. Missy, you are just too cute. Love you so much. Yes, so excited. Thank you. <laughs> okay, cheers. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Sarah. <laughs> Appies are here. Sorry, I totally forgot that I was vlogging. We have a potato, we have focaccia with garlic, and we have amazing broccoli. This is a taste test that you do on your channel. Yes, exactly. Pretty taste good. test time. I've never had this before. <laughs> here we go. Let's see it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm really into food, okay? Have you guys tasted this? <laughs> so, everybody's planking. Yes. Have you planked? I, I have, and I've nailed it. <laughs> so have you, though. You up one We learned from the best. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Is it messed up? No, you're good. We learned from the best, which is Sarah. <laughs> Can you take a, someone a picture of <gasps> I just replaced my phone this morning. I swear to God. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, it's good. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry, I was just planking. Oh, my bad. Daisy, <laughs> on the plank. Hold on. We're taking a pic. Fear me. Go ahead. LOL.